What's going on everybody? It's a surprise. So today we are doing a deck called Dance and Upgrade. I've anyway been looking for an excuse to do one of my favorite combos. I haven't done this in so long. It's Aerobics Instructor on turn two and then Loudmouth on turn three. Loudmouth is a dancing card. So this is a very versatile card. You can buff itself. Three cost three, three is fine. But you have the option of when this pops out of a gravestone to buff anything else on the field, including your aerobics instructor. If this survives, your opponent doesn't kill it on turn two. This becomes a beast. It's a 4-3. Uh, and then if they put, you know, the extra damage that's missing to kill this, they put, let's say, something with three attack in front of the aerobics instructor, you can use the loudmouth to buff it up, uh, and then you're going to be growing all of your dancing cards every turn, in turning, including the little loudmouth, which is going to itself turn into a 3-1, so it goes from very terrible stats to big stats. Now, uh, we are running cards in, that are that end up being little 1-1s, one like Tennis Champ. Getting 4 damage for 1 cost is actually a good deal, but then you end up with a 1-1 one, one on the field. Same thing with loudmouth. If you buff something else and you don't have the whole... Aerobics Instructor combo I just explained. You end up with a 1-1 one, one on the field. So we are sort of going with the Raid and Upgrade Strategy Deck combo. Uh, you have cards that utilize those little 1-1s one, to gain value. So again, this is not going to be played as a control card. We're not controlling. This is a tempo deck. You're trying to gain value every single turn. Uh, this can, again, put a 3 cost, 3-3 three, three on the field. Utilize, turn that little 1-1 one, one card uh, into a 2 damage field clear and uh, really mess up your opponent's side of the board. Same thing is going to be with the Cheese Shover. This will utilize that little card. 4-4-3, four, four, not good stats, but that little card will end up uh, turning into destroying one of their plans. The Headhunter is also a card that utilizes your little cards. So the, again, the little dancing zombie, the Loudmouth, will be used to upgrade. This has to be Dancing Evolution, so it has to be put onto a small dancing card. This will gain 2-2, two, two, gain Bullseye, and that, it'll be doing 2 Bullseye every single time you play uh, any zombies uh, subsequently. You can end up playing this onto one of your... Uh, dance off backup dancers. I'm also running um, Disco Zombie, which is a 3 1 that creates that little 1 1 that can be again used as the upgrade for multiple things. If you can get your own life of the party going, uh, this is a very good card to be played together with the Disco Zombie since this does represent again two cards that'll grow your disco. Your, it'll grow your own life of the party by 2 um, 2. By two, two. Uh, cheese sh Cutter is just a very overall really good card. They must answer it. If not, then you are going to be conjuring these really OP gourmet cards that are at a discount. Uh, good to have a couple of ones both together with the Unlike of the Party and the Secret Agent. So Secret Agent is another way. Not only do we have a very good early game strategy by playing one of your one drops on turn two and then scooping it up with Secret Agent, playing it the next turn as a one cost, you know, this will be end up being a 5-5. Five five. Uh, this will end up being a 7-4 uh, if you scooped up by a secret agent so it reactivates the tennis champ you can then copy those stats on that same turn on turn three uh, from the synchronized swimmer so you end up with a uh, on turn three you end up playing a one cost you know seven four and then a two cost seven four in the water uh, this is also a dancing card so it does synergize uh, with the dancing uh, card that you know it'll get extra attack from the aerobics instructor or end up doing two damage in a pinch you can even get like an amphibious play this in the water even as a two two and then get an amphibious headhunter that's doing all this bullseye damage from the water lane uh, that's the deck let's see if this works hope you guys enjoy again there's uh, you know Playing like cards like Gizzard Lizard and Cheese Shover as control are not going to be good because it only takes out what they played the turn before. But maybe as tempo, maybe maybe this will be the um, the life for these usually not so good cards. We'll see how this works. You know, we're just going for tempo and value trades, and we have a lot of end up with a lot of little garbage on the field to be able to upgrade. I'm, I'm going to set the bar for this deck a little low because I don't know if it's optimized. I'm sort of forcing in a few things like the tennis champs. I'm not sure. You know, we're doing a lot of experiments. I'm going to actually set it low for this one. We're going to make the bets uh, 7 out of 10 today. So if you think this deck will win 7 games out of 10, vote yes. 6 or fewer is going to be an over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash prime up. I usually go 8 out of 10. Today we're going 7 out of 10. Maybe because I just want this stream to feel like a success at the end. Who knows? So we got we got oh we got a lot of stuff going on here. I'm gonna look for another one. Uh, I wish I had a little bit more time to mulligan there. Uh, I could just do this on turn two. I think I'll go for it on turn two. We'll pass turn one. Uh, double secret agent's not good. I, I I really I was doing the bets while the mulligan timer was ticking down and kind of messed me up. 
Uh, if we can draw out a spike weed sector, that would be really good here, actually. So we'll play this on the ground. <sighs> Obviously, no Grass Knuckle Soup or any other cards that will really adversely affect this. So we end up with a um, Secret Swimmer combo in our first game, which is a really... I mean, it's one of the strongest early game strategies, unless this guy has a Doom Shroom coming up in a few turns. We should be really good to go. We end up with two five fives. One of them's amphibious, the other one draws us cards. Uh, I mean, he could have a sham rocket, but it's only going to take care of half the problem right now. So off to an extremely good star. I mean, incredibly. He bounces that. Interesting. We'll get it back, though. I'll take it. Oh, so him, just him with the cheese. We'll probably... I think we'll play around Shrinking Violet, so we'll put this here. Uh, I'll develop you too. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll grab something if it ends up in a bad... One of these cheese shovers ends up in a bad trade. I'll just grab it with the Secret Agent. I think we're in great shape here, man. <laughs> if he puts a 2-attack guy, like a 2-3 on the field... Well, if he puts a 2-2 on the field, we can end up scooping one of these... One of these cheese sh shovers, grab it, and then upgrade this next turn and play this as a 5-5. Five five. Yep, yeah. so we'll grab it. Uh, interesting choice, because this first one is definitely going to draw us a card now. This yeah, I would have put it if I was him on, on heights. So we end up with a 2 cost. The, vitamin Z at yeah, 2 cost is really good. Basically every card she's... Cheese Cutter gives you. We have Cheese Cutter and Cheese Shover in the stack. And I'm going to mix it up a million times, so leave me alone. <laughs> it's okay. I've got to say it right every time. Confusing. I'm multitasking here. And yeah, man's running bounce. Sheesh. So we have one, you know, so it's either one and four. He could end up... I wonder if we should just play around. We also have one, two... One, which is cool. You know, no. uh, should I play around Doom Shroom is the million dollar question. The way to play around it would be playing this one instead. I'm going to also save the, the, the shover for something bigger. So I'm not only playing around Doom Shroom, but I'm saving our removal card for a rainy day. I know Zombot. It's way too late. This is a tempo deck. You're definitely going to be trying to make value every turn. Ooh. Well, we can just copy this. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Come on, man. Question is, should I use the the backup dancer here? I think we'll have backup dancer plus vitamin Z next turn. So he's giving me these gourmet cards, which is terrible, terrible advice here. So that's gonna draw again. There's one cost fruit cake. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> so the play is two, one, two, and one. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know, man. Go. So we're gonna have lethal in every single lane, literally. Quite literally. There's nothing you can do. We got him. There's a. Brainana's not gonna do any. Oh, it's one and oh, guys. Damn, we dominated this first game, though. Maybe with this deck is secretly OP and we'll just go 10 and 0, man. But he started with Secret Swimmer and they don't have... I mean, he had Spring Bean. Still. I, I don't really know what Navy Bean was supposed to do in this deck. Maybe it's just a pile. Oh, Gravity Tree. Oh, it's guaranteed lethal already, but I'll show him what I have. Because <laughs> it's fun. Miss Lethal on purpose. Like, this would be the card I would use the Cheese Shover for, for example. But yeah, backup dancer, let's go. Doom Shroom plus a one, but once we play, okay, he would play a one drop, so anyway. Usually, backup dancers, actually, we could have just fruitcaked lane one. And then played Vitamin Z lane one, and uh, that would have been enough for lethal, even if he had Doom Shroom there, so. And a one drop. Happy Passover, happy Easter, we got all kinds of stuff. Happy 
Good Friday. It's Good Friday. That's the worst name for a holiday I've ever heard of. My Good Friday, really? You couldn't think of something a little more creative? Call it Holy Friday. I don't know. I don't like it. It's not a good name. Not a good name. Yeah, Secret Swimmer once again. Once again. So, I don't think we spam this. We'll play patiently here. He's just throwing a walnut on the field. He knows what's gonna happen. Fry, what's your favorite coffee? So the coffee I drink every day is uh, Instant Taster's Choice Caffeinated. That is the coffee I've been drinking for years. Most coffee actually hurts my stomach when I drink it. It just makes my really makes me crampy. That's like the coffee that I'm uh, I know that I'm able to tolerate. They don't really change the recipe or where they source the coffee beans from, so... Good, reliable coffee. Uh, we have a really cool play with Unlife of the Party, and then Backup Dancers, and the Aerobics and Strong. Look at this hand that we have. First he has to deal with these 5-5s, five which is just absolutely demolishing him even if he has a shamrock I mean he lose just throwing a card away that's first what he has to do and now it's a 5-3 instead of a 5-5 five five. It really didn't even help anything then uh, gotta figure out how to play this turn though like is the unlife correct what about the backup dancers I could just not do I could save the backup dancers for after this it could be like four or five I think that's correct so it's gonna be unlife here to win the trade this will go phase, and this will just be the other threat card. So we're just throwing a bunch of threats at him. Now if he ends up dealing with the 5-5s, five this unlike the party is going to just end up insane next turn. Uh, pass, okay, 2-0. Uh, and oh. <laughs> I'm just changing the score. There's no way he comes back from this. I don't care if you're Wall Knight. It doesn't matter, man. He'll be down to 3 health now. We got Vitamin Z again. Jeez. Okay, we got Thinking Cap at 3 cost, so we can play this for 2 superpowers next turn. I think proccing the block there was actually good, because I think we can very easily get eight, 8 8 attack coming up. We'll roll that to lane 1, probably, to block the... No, he's blocking the 3-1 for some reason. I don't even know what's going on. Okay. Uh, probably just Thinking Cap, right? It's not actually even a bad cheese shover. There's Doom Shroom. God damn it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take back the score. <laughs> I could have gone for the backup dancers there, actually. <laughs> So we have lethal in three lanes. We also have a blow on deck. We also have these backups. So if he kills anything, he doomstreams again. We just do the backup dancer play and we'll get four damage. Just because. Actually, this does six. It's a dancing trick and it's two dancing zombies. So this will do. Two damage times three times. <laughs> Prime up. How do, how much does a chimney cost? Just a chimney? Just, uh, just a just a, to build it in your house? A bit. How much does a chimney cost? I don't know. I've never bought a chimney before. What does that even mean? <laughs> okay, so it's guaranteed lethal. Just. Take a nap. Take a nap, win the game. 2-0. I like how this deck is beating Doomshroom. That's good. Usually that's the end to decks like this. We're going to be playing against Guardian Heroes the whole day, because that's the meta. and We're just going to have to try to play around Doomshroom somehow. Prime up. Give us an inspirational quote about Bad Moon Rising. What, what am I, chat GPT? What, what do you think this is? I'm real, I promise. I'm not a simulation, okay? I'm not an AI. Jesus. Bri, write me a poem about, I don't know, RuPaul Drag Race. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't got this stuff on the top of my head. What do you think this is? 
Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think the swimmer is going to come in handy. Do I just spam this? <laughs> Go! <laughs> I'll put it in mid too. <laughs> I, I'm not respecting this card enough. It can die to the thing. Uh oh. Uh oh, is that a hack here, guys? It feels like hacks already. He played that Admiral Navy bean on one really quickly. Kind of sus. <laughs> That's exactly what an AI would say. Shut up. Okay, it's not cheating. What's your favorite gourmet card other than Cheese Cutter? I mean, uh, in terms of how much I use it, probably like Exploding Fruitcake. Favorite? Oh. I don't do favorites. So we can go for the 4-3 in the water. I think this is just the better play. It's like so much better. Okay. Okay, Boomer. You know what I really need is Gizzard Lizard. Oh my god, that would be way better than Cheese Shover right now. Come on, man. Come on. So, I think I'm gonna put all the stats into this one card here. Um, it's only taking one damage this turn. I I'm basically just gonna go double... Double Swimmer. Uh, the only time I would not double Swimmer is if I top deck one of the three Gizzard Lizards. Oh, we got stuff going on. So, I'm gonna take the Unlife. I think we're just getting low on health. I'm pretty sure we win the tempo game against these beans. Against these beans. Oh my god, it's Gizzard. I almost don't even want to do it anymore. We literally, we like literally got Gizzard Lizard there. I think we take this still. It's eight four, two eight fours. We'll use the Gizzard Lizard later. Don't worry, we'll get the value, guys. <laughs> They're also dancing, so if somehow the aerobics instructor probably won't live this turn, he can probably do three damage. But uh, they'll actually grow an attack as if we needed more attack here. Eh? Guys, I cannot read everything in the chat, so don't 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 get upset. It's not personal. I promise. Nothing personal. Wow, well, uh, you know, probably just Gizzard here to kill the Admiral. Second Admiral, lucky we were. He doesn't end up with a whole lot on the field. Wow, Aerobics actually lives. He takes out a 3 1 here. Click, click. It's down to three. Everything's going well. It's good just to open up this lane here. Damn, look at this. Look at this go. So we could Gizzard. I think this is right. I think it's just Gizzard and we'll call it there. It opens up this lane. We have lethal on four lanes now. That's third Admiral Navy being Jeez, sus. Jeez, sus. Soft hacker? There's a bounce. Boom. And he got that. He got that going on. Um, this probably increases the chance of winning, because instead of him rolling a three, he'd have to roll double ones to not lose here. Um, I think also we're going to have one damage plus four and two. This is, this is turn five right now. So four plus two will win. Uh, even if he blocks and blow, he'll have to basically get blow and then blow the 10-4. The it turns it into a one in four chance if he gets blow. I think freeze will also work, so... He knows what he needs. Does he get it? It's guaranteed lethal either way. I almost wish he had it because, um... Again, Headhunter, on top of one of these dancers, you upgrade it, and then you just play the two-cost dancing card. Either of them. 3-0! Man, this thing... It's <laughs> holy crap, what is going on here, man? Yes. This deck's getting it done. We have, again, had Secret Swimmer a lot so far. Um, we didn't actually have Secret Swimmer there. We had Aerobics Instructor. Aerobics Instructor Loudmouth Swimmer, which is another awesome deck. By the way, didn't even mention, once you upgrade your Headhunter, which ends up being a 5-4, you can copy it with the Swimmers the next turn. Then not only is copying huge stats, also gives you a little bit of bullseye damage to the face. So that's awesome. Haven't done much with Unlife yet, but the knight is still young. 
One, two, three. When will Unlike Pepper be in play? All right. Uh, I think well, this one goes on ground. Let's see if he wants to deal with it. It's not the deck, you're just cracked. I'm very happy that that is how the rumble, you know, it destroys a one drop to score damage to face. Again, it's good value for him, but that's a really good card against a deck that uh, will very often develop lots of stuff and lots of lanes. We don't have a great op. Well, we have to loudmouth for next turn. Ooh, he answered it. Jeez, come on, man. Come on, man. In this situation, it's not Loudmouth as a 3-3. Three, three. We put a 3-1 and we drop this Dancer on the board, so we're going to be able to upgrade and, you know, we'll see if he has a Shamrocket. That is very sad indeed. Indeed. So, he ends up with a 5-4. This is a huge problem. Such an underrated card, Pear Cub, man. Underrated. Look at that crap. No, 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 no. I, I think we have to just go for the upgrade and we'll... Hopefully he doesn't Shamrocket. You know, Shamrocket isn't even the most dangerous play. Bananasaurus Rex is, because that means he's getting 11 damage on 16 health, so... Let's hope he doesn't have one of those. Spike weed's not a huge problem, because that means he'll either have to spend... Oh my, <laughs> it's, not, it's not good. Not good at all. So we're going to get some dancing cards. And look at the bullseye, oh my gosh. That play, that was pivotal. That was the whole game right there, man. Uh, we actually have this play. I don't think I'm going to take it, though. I think I'm going to go unlike for the party. Like this. And then we'll um, we'll be able to counter this lane in case he puts something really dangerous there. And then we're going to put three. And we still have a lightning bolt, so we can take out the five four uh, with one plus three here. He's growing that. It's really grave. God damn. God damn. So I think we lightning bolt here. It's it represents five bullseye to face plus whatever dancing cards we muster up next turn. We're in we're in not not so great shape here. This this cheese shover ends up being really high value. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um he's already played his rumble. Well, I guess I'm covering this one, sorry. Yeah, I'm covering this one. So we'll have the 4-3 on heights. So that does two bullseye to face. And then here's the cheese shover, so that's four damage to face here. Not a dancing, but so we got a four three that he has to you know, must answer four three, and we still got a growing three three on the field, and whatever we tap deck. Oof! So that's not only a really good trade against a four three, but it also gives him a block. We're at four health. So time to shine. Well, here he's the super, so it's time to shine. He's going for it for three damage for some reason. Okay. For the win! For the loss! Think about it! That's guaranteed lethal now! Come on, man! Come on, man! He had us too! Save the time to shine! Why are you spending that? For the loss! For the loss! Come on, man! Backup dancers! Yes! 4 and 0. <laughs> Come on! Damn, this deck is gonna get done though. Oh, why? Just why? Uh, shout out, by the way, I did not mention the person's name. The name is Jer9682. His deck list actually is very different than the one I'm running today. But he was the inspiration for doing Secret Swimmer and then with upgrades. He wasn't running Headhunter or anything like that. But I put the Headhunter in and decided to make it dancing. Because I felt like it. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta save that there, though, man. It's not worth it. Not worth it. So, that is highlight comp. Worthy for sure fail comp, actually. And let's go. Why did that not work? What? 
Why is my copy paste not working? Bro, copy. Bro. What is wrong with this? It's just something with Google Docs that's being crazy. Come on, man. There you go. Yeah, we kicking it, boys. Kicking it. No, da, 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 da. Um, okay. Let's go for a little more early game. So we could go just one, two, maybe three. I wonder if I should get rid of this right now. It will. That's better. Yeah, so we we have pretty good tempo here. I'll play this on heights. Nice to spike weed sector. Nothing really on heights that should bother this. We have 250 people. The reason we have so many viewers today live, we, we usually get around 200. It's more it's close to 300 today because it is Good Friday. Uh, we're streaming this on April 7th, so everyone's off of school, off of work. People have more time to come to Twitch and join us here. Thank you guys for spending your Good Friday at Fry em Up. Boys, this is a mistake. This is the better card. That just conjuring one card here, man, not only gives us card advantage, but it gives us stupid tempo. I, for some reason, we're always getting vitamin Z. I don't know why. What? What? Why? <laughs> I think I'm going to save this. I'm either going to go for vitamin Z. I'm a little bit worried about Triceratops. Triceratops isn't even that good. You know what? I'm just going to play this, and they'll start playing off curve next turn. Bruh. Still. We get the damage. We get another card. Zero cost. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. So I think I'm going to go one, zero, and either two or one here. Yep. We can vitamin Z some now, man. I can even vitamin Z this if I want. Bro, stop! Uncool! <laughs> Photosynthesizer. So I could let these both die. I could also just buff this card. It doesn't really hit this turn. My gut, since we can only buff this for one every single turn, gut instinct is just to capitalize on this. Five damage definitely going to face. A lot of these two die. We don't have any, you know, multiple spike weed sectors are gonna end up hurting. That's a cool card in a raid and upgrade deck. Oh, both the cheese cutters hit face. Yes, we got an environment. Oh my god. Thank the praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Why? So we got. Oh man, I almost want to just scoop this card now, man. I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do a little ramp. Do a little love. Get down to that. No point in using any of the upgrade cards yet until he puts a threat on the field. It hasn't happened yet. So we're gonna trap her into scoop here and lightning bolt, whatever the hell we want. So this is a really, really strong play. This gave us a little ramp this turn, which is pretty cool. What? Uh, I could do something crazy, which is scooping this so he doesn't draw the card. Do we scoop the aerobics here, and then trap her here? And then we can just upgrade... Then we can upgrade the, the chi shover on here. I think that's actually what I'm doing, which is hilarious. So it's gonna be... you. What? It's from... It's from... A, I don't remember where it's from. Fry praising Jesus on Good Friday. If Jesus was in a grave, he'd be turning in it. Smile. <laughs> Lazarus coming in with the Christian jokes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's staying alive, not lightning bolt. Wah, 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 wah. Staying alive. Staying alive. Wah, wah. 
We only have five this turn? Whoops. Shawipsie doodle. What do we do here? Wah, 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 staying alive. Wah, wah. I think this is good enough. It'll end up killing the cucumber. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Mog. Give me a the, the big tennis chair. A paparazzi. A paparazzi. Da -da 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 Roll one. Oh, we could win. We could do it, boys. Winnable. Winnable. Karma. Karma.com. I think I'm going to just put the cheese shover on the paparazzi here. We can't really play any tricks, so it's kind of garbo. But uh, opening up lane three for lethal. That's a good play. We got lethal in four lanes now. <laughs> he covers three lanes pretty well. Not a bad play. Does he have a one drop? He does. Look at this Giga Chad surviving that turn with four lethal, man. He comes in with Loco Coco. <laughs> Don't know why he's running that. He was going to upgrade it on top of the Primal Potato. Okay, that was a cool play. Wow. Wow. Uh, so we go one. I think we do it like this. I wonder if I should just hit hit him with hit, with this cheese here because it hit him with the cheese. Yeah, I think opening up another lethal lane is better than better than anything else I can do. So we have three three lethals now. Brainana, why would he go face with the Brainana though? Dude, what you think you're Wall Knight? The man thinks he's Wall Knight. He's like, I, I know I'm Wall I'm Wall Knight. I'm protected. He can't do anything. That's not what his superpower does, bro. It's not how it works. It's not. Why would he? <laughs> it's a troll. I'm getting trolled. I'm getting trolled. I'm getting trolled. Yeah, maybe I should have saved this in case he was running Soul Patch. Knowing this guy running Loco Coco. <laughs> yeah, that's just him conceding in style, guys. Okay. <laughs> Wow! Wow! How do you make seven even? Take away the S. That's pretty good. When I go out, I go out in style. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> You've been trolled. Are we 5 and 0 now? You're right. Why does it still say 3 and 0? It's 5 and 0 now. What is this man doing? It, it was 4 and 0. I forgot to change the score. Damn, this deck. This deck crazy. <laughs> Stop, Falcon. The guy knew what he was doing. Israel doesn't get it. It's okay. Doesn't uh, right here. I don't know. All right. I think I'm gonna just do this, and we'll we'll go from there. Yeehaw. Yeehaw, part bitches. Oh, I should have upgraded lane, um, you're right, on lane two. <laughs> Duh, you're smart. <laughs> like, obviously. Like, Tali. What is this? Man's got umbrellas and all kinds of stuff going on. I don't even know what's happening. So, there, there's a bunch of plays we can do, man. I think my gut is Unlife Cheese Cutter. And he goes after the Cheese Cutter, we can hit him with the Backup Dancers next turn. 
We could go for the backup, though. Maybe the backup is the play. What if he berry blasts, though? Then this play sucks. No, we gotta play, make a good play against against berry blast. I probably should have put the unlife of the party in lane two, though. Doesn't really matter. Just to get the free trade rather than two damage space. Proc the block. Mm. Well, he doesn't have berry blast. He has the next best thing. High voltage current. Okay. That's fine. Wow. Go. Um. I could just get an amphibious 3-3. Three, three. Feeling a little bit more ambitious than that, though. Actually, two and one. It's not a bad play. You know, I'm just gonna. No, wait. No, it doesn't work. Well. So we don't even go for the backup dancers yet. Alright, let's do it like this. Two costs three, three. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is the real question. Maybe I should have just gone like cheese cutter in one, aerobics here. I don't know. It's okay. Captain Cucumber, kind of scary. Uh, could really use one of these. Man, these gizzard lizards. We always need the gizzards. Down to seven, though. We're really rushing this guy. That ain't bad. This is a good upgrade here. It's what, what we want. So we'll kill the engine. This ends up being free. Buffs on life. Not a bad play. It also just kind of gets rid of this 1-1. One, one. That uh, wasn't doing much. He's moving it in. Does the man have a berry blast yet? He has banana launcher. So that'll work next turn. I don't like the time to shine. You're going to have a banana bomb next turn, but I guess we could have grown. Yeah, we would have grown it past it. Okay. Maybe not a bad time to shine. What can I say? What can I even say? Go! Down to four now. So here's on life. I think on life and then aerobics, and if he doesn't kill the unlife with this banana bomb. You know, he was saving it for the cheese cutter, then we can hit him with the backup dancers. Even if he kills the unlife, the backup dancers can grow. I think this is good. Wow. So a little bit of freeze, we'll hit him for two. We kill the banana launcher now, kind of for free. And then these trade, not bad. Still got a lot of threats on this board. This definitely works. It's just another threat. Another one. So, besides for the block meter, we got lethal in four lanes now. There's the banana bomb. But he's really in a situation. He's using his, you know, banana bomb on something going face on a, a one drop. And then he's going and hitting, you know, he's using his super to remove a card off the field. I mean, this guy is not in the position to one turn kill us. I know against Captain Combustible you are never safe, but I'm feeling pretty safe right now. Uh, the only removal power, I don't think he's used his meteor. So block meteor. I, I don't think this backup dancer is ever going to be in play. We can always play it next turn. We could play it because then we end up with a 3-1 on the field. He'll probably, if he can, he'll probably, end, well, anyway. Fry, can you say something in Hebrew, please? Lo, ani lo yachor. I mean, no, I'm not able to. All right, good. We're six in. A, I set the bar so low, but it's one more win. What are the bets, by the way? It seems like the decks that I'm sweating hard and I really need one in the win. I think we're gonna go ten and zero. They end up going seven and three, and then the ones I think are good, uh, seven and three, they go ten and zero. Seventy-two percent voted yes. So you guys are gonna be cashing it in with the bets here today. Yeah, dude. It's you're you're spamming just like random one-liner chat in the in the chat. So like, 
<laughs> You're doing it a lot, though. Please stop spamming. Thank you. The jokes are cute, but... You're, uh, you're demanding my attention a little too hard, I think. I probably should have saved that, right? <laughs> I probably should have saved that headhunter. We had two, three. I mean... What do we do with this hand now? I love this combo. I, I guess I'll just get rid of you. I, I wonder if I just play on life here. Is that crazy? I could save it for later, but... I kind of want him to use a removal card on this. Am I insane playing on life on one here, Dry? Am I stupid or something? I'm like, stupid. Stupid or something. Alright, let's go. It's all good, no worries. Oh, wow, no answers. Now it's a 2 2, and he's gonna have two different cards he's gonna have to answer, and we have multiple. Options for oh this this hand is shaping out is what's going on. I'll put this here I'm just thinking the only card you really play on on turn two besides for twin sunflower Which would suck here is roto vega and there's no really good lane for the roto vega. He did end up getting the twin though So that's sad um, this we, we got a lot of um Man, we got a lot of value going on here. I think I'm going to even save the Swimmer for one more turn. We'll go with this, and Lightning Bolt could end up being really good. It'll either fix a trade in lanes 2 or 3, which it can make, or it will outright kill um, uh, Astricado. Looks like he went for that play. That's okay, though. Oh, no, I Lightning Bolt this. Whoops! Fry, you're stupid! Ah! God, that's the whole game right there, too. I needed to Lightning Bolt that, because now opponent can play a 6-drop. What am I doing? Luckily, he did not get the Goatify. Oh, I had this guy, too, man. So we go... Copy a 7-3. This is still a really good play. I just wish I had Lightning Bolted this. So, I think we'll just go face. You get another 8-4. Well, look at this deck, though, man. Like, what do you do now? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Winter Malone. That's a really good answer here. Uh, we actually unlike Lifts, which is cool. Damn, he wouldn't have been able to do that if I would have Lightning Bolted last turn. Like a non-imbecile. I think we're still doing okay here. It's pretty good. We'll have many shots at his face. It's staying alive, not lightning bolt. Thank you. Actually. No! So this is fine. This, this Starfruit doesn't actually do anything here. I don't know what... It looks good, but what is it doing? It's getting my guys down low. We still have a shot at his face here if he doesn't roll a 3. And that's it. So the answer is yes already. The question is, is this deck going to continue rolling to 10 and 0? So again, it's Synchronized Swimmer, which is a great deck. Then we have Dancing... I guess we can call it mid dancing with the aerobics into the loudmouth into the headhunter. Then you have some upgrade cards. Everything's working. I don't think the tennis champ has been very good. Seems like it's been pretty useless, but man, this deck is rolling. So the ans answer is yes already. Should have made the bets nine and one, not seven and three. Yeah. Uh, haven't really seen much use out of the Disco Zombie. It was kind of... It was actually good that one game. It actually... It fed it fed a pair cup that almost killed us, but it ended up making a Headhunter that... Uh, almost won us the game. This hand sucks. Should I look for a Secret Agent? This is okay, but I'm just not seeing the curve. Alright, oh, that pan turned out to be much better than it was. So we'll test for a cheese cutter on one. 
If this again absorbs Meteor, for example, it makes the Aerobics Instructor a much bigger force next turn, so that is a really good trade. Trading a one drop we're running in our deck for a superpower that's a very strong superpower. That is a win. Now we have a superpower. We have staying alive, and he doesn't. So we're winning, technically. Uh, will this change my impression of Cheese Shover? I, I don't know, the Cheese Shover's been okay. I'd love to be able to get more use out of it, you know? I don't really know what to do here. We could try for Amphibious... Amphibious Dude. I mean, it dies to Shamrock it so badly, I'd love to be able to copy the something else. This hand sucks, though. We have all of the cards that need something, you know, that need a boost. I'm, I'm, I'm crazy, but... Let's try Amphibious. We won the bet so we can experiment with new strats now. <laughs> We're going for Amphibious Headhunter. We also have this Lightning Bolt that can solve some problems here. The Staying Alive, I mean. The Staying Alive can solve some problems. So that's interesting. He had removal on one. Well, he had Meteor, which is a superpower, and Berry Blast. So I'm guessing this actually is an aggro deck, which means it's a little less likely for him to be running cards like Shamrocket, which makes this a safer play. I think I'm doing this regardless. But, uh, you know, if you're running Poison Ivy, usually means aggro. Interesting he didn't actually play any actual aggro cards. Yeah. I mean, he's getting five non-bullseye, but I'm getting... I'm getting five bullseye that's going to end up being very impactful here. Uh, so we'll go face with you, and we'll hit him with this. Gonna end up just making a good trade. Or buffing one of these cards, correcting a trade. We'll probably end up buffing self. It's a dancing card, so it'll, it'll proc the, the dude. Oh, come on. I think we'll just take this trade. This will end up with one health. We, yeah, gotta, gotta do it. So we'll end up with a 3-1 on the field, which ain't bad. He ends up with like a 5-1, and we end up with a still 5-5 five, five bullseye that's kind of tearing him to shreds here. <laughs> Three dancers will win. There's one. Uh, it's also a 2-cost 5-5, five, five, which is ridiculously good. I think this one in this matchup is going to be better. Yeah, I, this should probably actually go face here. That was correct. I'm going to. It's four damage. All right, so we're eight and now. <laughs> hey, we're probably not playing against the strongest of decks today. There's a lot of people in Ultimate League. This is, of course, being filmed uh, in the very late extents of... Uh, season 60, which is the one that was the last one programmed into the game. Apparently they are fixing it. That is the news, but yeah, you can see by the number of stars we have. So you end up with a lot of people, weaker players in Ultimate League, which do make the opponents a little bit a little weaker, but um, I mean, the deck's doing everything it wants to, and it's doing it very well, and it's just establishing so much strong tempo consistently. That, uh, you know, again, we've got Doomshroomed once, but they don't have really specific answers. Um, not gonna bode well for them. With the Unlife, I really like keeping all these one-drops, so we're just gonna start by... Uh, shoving Cheese Cutters in his face, and I'll probably just go Cheese Cutter, Unlife Cheese Cutter next turn, so we don't die to Berry Blast, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I haven't seen Evaporate yet. <laughs> just not very good in this deck. Wow, look at this play. So it's going to definitely be you and you. And if he goes after... The, the more powerful card this turn is the Cheese Cutter. But the Unlife eventually will be. We've got some really strong plays. He goes for that. But that, I mean, this this Unlife of the party is actually now out of control. Uh, the cool thing is the 1-1 one, one does solve this 2-1 problem here. I think I'm going to... Wow, we don't even have to. Because we have Evaporate. And we also really want a bottom... For this, for this uh, gizzard lizard. So weirdly, I'm actually going to go double face with this. This will die for free to the gizzard lizard. And now, once Unlife is past three damage, berry blast damage. I mean, this this is going to be this is here for the rest of the game now. It's going to be a real, real pain in this guy's tush. 
That's three damage. That's pretty good. We have a really strong gizzard lizard play here. We can just put it on the three one. Let's see what else we get there. Uh, there's double aerobics, which brings this up to three attack. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with that. It wins both trades. These buff each other. It buffs the three one. Look at the dancing. <laughs> it's so nice to have Disco Zombie getting it done. Loving Disco Zombie. The Gizzard was good. He ends up with a three attack guy, so that's good for him. But th this this field is stupid now. I mean, absolutely stupid. I'll probably just play the Gizzard dry now. Little sad. Seems like we always get it when it's not quite good enough. Yeah, I have to know. But yeah, these all end up being <laughs> like six seven attack. <laughs> Go! This is still a dead card, too. Uh, maybe I should have set up a play where we use this, because if, you, if this dies in your hand, you're, you're down a card. It's not where you want to be. I think, in general, this board is where we want to be. He's going for repeat moss already. Early. Okay. Uh, if we roll double ones, we win. Damn. So, Embiggen doesn't quite win, but it's real close. Time to Shine usually wins. Uh, getting a cheese shovel right now would be cool. What the hell am I supposed to do, though? I mean, do I go for the Evaporate play? That's crazy. This will absorb a whole shot if we put it here, but it sets up Evaporate if we don't. This hand sucks. This hand really sucks right now. I think I have to block the damage coming in, because if he plays a couple of tricks, we have a block coming up, and then we also have... But we we can only re actually get tapped two times. Okay. I don't think that's going to get it done, though. If that's all he has, it's guaranteed still. Yeah, we will. Easy. Go, run, Gizzard Lizard. Run for your little lizard life. 9-0. Beating a repeat moss captain combustible deck. That's a good sign. Alright, guys. Well, here's game 10. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> New favorite deck. Alright, I think I'm actually going to make some changes to this deck for the last one. What would I do? What would I do with this deck? I would completely get rid of you. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll do a serious... We'll make this... Serious for the last game. I think we need a little bit more. What else would be really good in this deck? A little bit more reactive plays. Um, fruitcake, fruitcake could be good. It's a good tempo card. Maybe something more like this. Go. No, 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 no. None. Cosmic Dancer? Like, because you do so much damage early that it's a finisher. It's an interesting idea. I've been thinking about Cosmic Dancer running it in sort of burn decks. I think I was even running it in, like, as a little bit of a latish game card in z -Mech Swarm, in, like, the Trick Mech deck that we run. I, I like having a really solid one-drop in Conman. I think this is already better. What do we do about the synchronized swimmer though? We don't really have a good play for a turn. We can go one, this plus superpower on two, three, four. All right, this should work. I'd say, except sides for evaporate, all three superpowers work really well here. One big joke. Luke. Super them up. That's okay though. Again, we're trading a regular run of the mill one drop for an ultimate ability, a very strong ultimate ability. So we'll definitely take that. Which hero 10, 10 O's the most? Uh, at one point it was probably Captain Combustible, I don't know. Grass Knuckles usually does well. Captain Combustible and Grass Knuckles have just really strong superpowers. Damn, look at this guy. I didn't actually even look at the card we drew, which is the... The dude. This looks like an aggro deck, so probably probably hit him with the cheese right now, let's go. When you have built in super you know, I'm talking about a hero, I do all kinds of decks, and some of them work really well and some of them work less well. 
So for a hero to be, <laughs> yeah, I mean for you to say which hero is the best. He actually played his Astro Shim really early, which is like, is this, is this Cycle Cap? Am I getting Jabe? It looks like Cycle Cap, but why is he wasting Astro Shroom? I should probably still play around that, right? Or maybe I just play my game. I think I'm just going to play my game instead of playing around uh, Planet of the Grapes. He did not have it. Have I ever gone 0-10? I don't think so, because if I'm playing a deck and I go like 0-3, I usually just stop and try something else. I'm like, this idea is not working. Watch us lose now, I know, right? I think I'll just commit. The one damage is good. It blocks four and kills this entire card. I'll kind of commit to, uh... Damn, that's so annoying. The growing the, uh... Aerobics. Aerobic Robics. Blocks already? Extra fast blocks? Extra thick blocks? Yeah, it's pretty good. It makes this a real pain to deal with. We also have a good copy. See if we get something cheap. I think Fruitcake's okay here. We're just gonna try to rush rush it here. We're gonna try to rush E. So we could end up with Fruitcake in two for lethal. If not, I'll Fruitcake maybe the... Maybe the back move. This is another game where we... Oh. Buff Shroom. So he, we're not worried about lethal. 6, 9, 12... And then a shot. Uh, we gotta go for this. I mean, that's a pretty easy decision here. We usually win. He can roll a three and a two, obviously, and then... We're kind of screwed at that point. Two. That we definitely use right now. Just in case. Got it! Ten and oh, let's go! <laughs> let's go! Oh, man! That one was satisfying. What a deck, what a day, what a life. What a life. So we got the 10 and 0 with Dancing Man. We're bringing back, I mean, this is like, I'll tell you the cool thing about this deck. This is the combination of like every single Boogaloo deck we've done. Like the three good Boogaloo decks, one would be the tempo with the with the dancing and the headhunters and the loudmouth and the aerobics instructor. The other one would be Secret Swimmer. And then, you know, you start throwing in like Unlife for the Party and sort of playing like a tempo deck would be the third one, which is a little different than those two are like the three Boogaloo decks, kind of combi combining them all into one. I I'm really not actually so sure about the about the gizzard lizards and the, um, the cheese shovers. It didn't seem like so necessary. We really did get rid of like the tennis champ, which means you have fewer cards to upgrade those on. And you still have the loud mouse, but uh, yeah, great deck guys. Great deck. Hope you guys enjoy. That was the dance and upgrade deck with electric boogaloo. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, this is Fry.